A quick way to make your text look a little bit more like 3D with nice shading is the bevel and emboss layer style. So this is just another one. So it's pretty easy to create, but say we just add some text here, new text. I'll show you the steps to do it and some of the options. So we have this new text here. We'll put it on the bottom so we can see it a little bit better. And then double click that text layer. And this very first style is bevel and emboss. Now under bevel and emboss, you have different styles. So this emboss will kind of add a shadow behind it. If we go just to inner bevel, it kind of round, it, it's just using shading, but it makes the text look like a little round and bulging. You also have outer bevel, uh, pillow emboss, stroke emboss. These are just different options. So this pillow emboss is kind of cool. This almost looks like it's being stitched on to a pillow or a piece of fabric. And then you have the settings for this. So depth is going to make this sort of deeper or a bigger, more pronounced bevel or embossed. And then same with the size and the softening. This is going to allow you to change how that looks. Shading, depending on what option you have, if you have emboss on, it's going to allow you to change the direction, the opacity, and all of your different settings for your for the the shading or the the different texture that it's adding so let me actually make this a little bit more practical i'm going to find a texture that we can create sort of uh, a look and a design that looks like something's sewed onto a pillow i've gone ahead and added this fabric texture to your folder which you'll see already in the photos under project six i'm going to drag this into our project like so and just make it bigger, fill this entire frame. So now let's just zoom out just a little bit. Let's put this underneath our text. We're gonna delete the bevel and emboss text and just have this new text. And we're gonna put this here. We'll call this fabric. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And let's also change the uh, color, the original color. We might change this later on just to make it look a little bit better, but let's make it white. Now let's double click this, choose bevel and, and emboss. For style, we're going to choose pillow emboss. Now that looks already pretty good, but I think the color of this text is what's actually not looking too good right now. We're going to go ahead and change the blend mode. Now, I know I haven't shown you this uh, yet. We're going to look at this in a different section uh, and go through these in more depth. But you can see as I scroll through these different blend modes, it starts to blend with the background. So a couple of these do a very similar thing. You've got this darken or multiply. Now, if we do this multiply, that, that starts to look like this is actually etched in, but I also want to change the color. So let me change the color, make it something like this red, something like this. And now if we go through our blend modes, it looks a little bit different than if we had the text as white. Now like a, an overlay or something like that looks pretty good. And then we could go into our bevel and emboss and change the size and settings until it looks like we want it to. Kind of like that chisel hard look. So now it almost looks like if you, you know, look at it quickly, it looks like some sort of patch or 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 letters that are actually sewed into this fabric. And that's just using a layer style called bevel and emboss. So hopefully this gives you a good idea for how you can practically add and use these layer styles for your projects moving forward. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in another lesson.